to you see what we got in here. Look at that. And this is all coming with me. And yes, I bought the entire lot. It's stacked to the brim, guys. We've hit the jackpot, baby. Good morning, retro fans, and hello to all my retro friends. My name is Retro Holder 87, and today we're going on a toy hunt. But this is something completely come as a surprise. This is a top secret location that we are on our way to right now, guys. A subscriber has seen me in the yellow and contacted me wanting to say hello and got me in touch with a couple that potentially could have some awesome retro bits and pieces to add to my toy room. So we're just on our way there now. All I've been told is they have a collection that they potentially will be parting ways with and I could be interested with, with 70s, 80s, 90s, memorabilia, action figures, comics, all sorts. Okay guys, I think we're here. Just gotta find the house now. I've spoke to these guys a couple of times on the phone and they seem absolutely lovely. Really nice to talk to. So hopefully, let's see what they got and potentially have some golden gems. Well, we're here, we found it. Looks nice, very nice, lovely, quiet. Let's see if um, they might let us do some recording in their property. Obviously, ask for permission first, but um, so hopefully, if not, I'll bring uh, the goodies back out that I did manage to find and I'll see you in a sec. Well, after a long, hard negotiation, I think we've picked up some golden gems and they've let me record the process of me loading it into the car. So I've got the boot ready. Let's load up some awesome retro goodness. Let's go get some retro goodies. Beautiful, look at that incredible hole. That's gorgeous, that is. Beautiful. Starboard baby. Old school shredder. Vintage Starboard in there. Beautiful stuff. Let's fill up the box, guys. Let's fill up the box. New to. Radio. 
the whirlpool. We've got ourselves a twenty nine tiny little now. Xbox, PlayStation 2, We've got Sega Master Systems. We got ourselves a PlayStation. Yeah. And this. It's all coming with me. You've hit the jackpot, baby.
screaming madness, I'll tell you guys. No way, look. VR unit, sold. To the brim dreamcast wow look at all that gaming goodness wow and bags of gaming goodness guys incredible always keep hydrated in this hot weather my goodness Absolutely, let me grab these bits from you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Grab the good stuff. My great grandson is under the legal guardianship of my great niece. Right, okay. Right, so that's. Oh, thank you. Jabba the Hutt.
Look at that, boys and girls. The car is stacked full of retro goodness. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. All full of games. Stacked to the brim. Xbox, PlayStation, Super Nintendo. We've even got vintage Star Wars in the box, guys. More Xbox games down there. More you can see in the tub. And if you can see, beautiful Super Nintendo. Boxed there. Look at it. It's stuck to the brim, guys. Right, let's get back and show you what we managed to grab. So you know I said I was going for action figures and comics, right? Well, let's just say I picked up a little bit more than I was expecting. And yes, I bought the entire lot. Do you want to see what exactly all of the stuff we got? I hope you're a gaming fan, and I hope you're ready, because this is very close to Silicon Heaven. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of gaming imagination. Look at it. Everywhere. All on the tables, all on the floor, every surface, every shelf available. Unbelievable. Look at it. Incredible stuff, guys. I, I'm still in shock, I tell you. It's everywhere. And I've even had, yes, I've had the painstaking task of matching up all the leads down here. So all of the power leads matching up, cleaning all the painstaking tasks, which obviously you guys don't get to see, but I've managed to get it into a display for us to showcase. So uh, I'll show you on my new device that I'm gonna be using for my toy hunt videos. So let's jump in and take a better look at this awesome gaming collection. Right, that's a bit better guys. Let's showcase round and show you what we picked up. Give you a second just to take it all in. Honestly, look, it's everywhere. I, I am still in shock myself. But I thought I would try and go in some sort of chronological order for us. So we've got the Natari 7800 with the controller. Beautiful. It is missing the uh, joypad, unfortunately, but I'm sure I can pick something. Uh, another one of these boot sales but look at the games it comes with guys look Mario Bros Donkey Kong Jr even classics like Space Invaders amazing so we've got the Atari and all the uh, games to go with that and even a special bonus look at this one an Atari joystick it has 10 games on it. You connect straight into the television and you can play all sorts of games on it. Amazing, look at that. Moving on to the next evolution. So over here we have a Sega Master System. Still Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at that, beautiful. I think this is one of the ones I am struggling to find the power lead for which is a bit unfortunate because I do need to test that. And look. Beautiful gun as well. Fantastic stuff. And then moving on round, we've got ourselves a Mega Drive. Just there, look. Two controllers. some reason to Sonic the Hedgehogs so potentially guys I could be giving one of these away in my channel so make sure you like share and subscribe Look, classic games like Altered Beast Golden Axe X-Men and then we've got to the right of it this entire box full of Mega Drive games. Look. 
James Pond 2. Tasmania. Even some I've never heard of. Red Zone? Oh, one of the uh, original racing games I used to play. Road Rash. Look, another Sonic Spinball. I don't know where, where does it keep on going? Look, James Pond 3. Streets of Rage. Honestly, look. Completely full. Earthworm Jim. Marks. Earthworm Jim 2. Zombies. Dungeons and Dragons. Incredible stuff. Well, I'm just letting you guys know this one is definitely staying in my possession. Fantastic. Look. And even a spare controller as well. Look at that. And then from there, we have PlayStation. But it is a bare unit. But uh, one of my iconic consoles so I am definitely in the hunt to have one of these completed with all the original controllers the leads next to it we've got two Nintendo 64s three controllers and of course the iconic games that come with the Nintendo 64 not just the iconic games, but two boxes completely full. Mario Party, Donkey Kong 64, Resident Evil 2, Duke Nukem, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Donkey Kong Racing, 007. That Duke Nukem, bad for day, Zelda, and look what's in the other box. All sorts, some, again, these I've never even heard of, I've never played, so this is going to be awesome to, when I switch that on, Rayman 2, Starshoot, amazing. Two boxes of them. And then next to that, Super Nintendo, as you saw in the video, all boxed when I collected that one. Mario Paint. That virtual reality unit headset. Some iconic games for the Super Nintendo. Street Racer. Beautiful. Look at this. How awesome is that? Fantastic stuff. Controllers. We've even got That mini classic. Look at all those games. But not only have we got loose games, we've got box games as well. Beautiful stuff there. Mario Paint. Down here, Sega Genesis games. James Ponto again. Jungle Strike. Populous. Boxed Mortal Kombat 2. Look at that, I'll let you take it in, guys. What an absolute haul. We've got in here Nintendo Switch games, 3DS games, these are all PC games. 
Warhammer, Dawn of War, Command and Conquer. Beautiful stuff. Back up, still going in the order. We've got PlayStation 2, two of those with controllers. And when we talk about PlayStation 2, absolute gaming heaven. Two bags completely stacked. PlayStation 2 games. How iconic. I believe uh, a good friend, Mr. Reddy, was after some wrestling games. So he's going to be very pleased I found that one. But yeah, two bagfuls. I think it's really going to be fair to say, what game haven't I got from PlayStation 2? All the games now, I mean, look. Iconic, Final Fantasy. Beautiful. Again, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm still in shock. Then moving on, we've got three game cubes. Four controllers. We've got two indigo and one black. Three indigo controllers and a fourth black one there. Three Dreamcasts. Five controllers. And a gun for you Time Crisis fans. I believe it was uh, called something different on the Dreamcast. I'll have to check that out. And then we've got a bear unit, Sega Saturn. Beautiful, but with that Sega Saturn, we did get some awesome games. Let me move these ones out of the way. Get these Mega Drive ones out. But look, we got some absolute beauties. Batman Forever Arcade, Sonic Jam. Shock Assault, Euro 96, NBA Live, all of that Sega Saturn games. I am in Silicon Heaven. This is incredible. We're only like halfway through. Like I said, I mentioned three Dreamcasts, but this box contains that blue bag of games. Some iconic ones here again. Let me just move the PlayStation 2 steering wheel and pedals out the way while I mention that. But look at some of the absolute gems we've got in here. Jet Set Radio, Daytona, USA. Wow, Shenmue, unbelievable. Sonic Adventures. I mean, these are the record of Lodos. Spawn in the demon's hand. This is unbelievable. Look at all that. That whole box full of Dreamcast games. Next to it, 360, a whole bag, 360 games. Halo, Fantasy Star, Mass 2, Mass Effect 2, Command and Conquer, Batman, Arkham City. Wow. Completely full. Look at them. Ghost Recon, Mass Effect 3, Fallout 3. Completely stacked, guys. Like I said, unbelievable. And then we're moving on to a bit more of the modern stuff. So, again, we've got an original PlayStation. 
very iconic for itself because of having its multi-adapters on the back. And yes, it does, as you can see, have the multi-adapters and an extra bonus. There it is. Can you see it? 60 gig. So one of the more popular hard drives, 60 gig. PlayStation 3 there. Unbelievable. Whoops. And then also a PlayStation 3 Slim. Beautiful stuff. Incredible. I never had ever owned one of those Slim ones. And that, a controller each. Look, I'm still in shock, I'm shaking, I'm dropping everything. Cool controller for each one of those. Next to that, Game Boy Advance. And as I was sorting through these, I still kept finding stuff. Talking about the Game Boy Advance, going back to the, the PC games, I pull out this bag, and there's Game Boy Advance games, Game Gear games, Game Boy games, we've, look, what's this? Donkey Kong. Incredible. It just keeps on going. It keeps on going. Are you back? Can you see at the back there, guys? Three Nintendo Wiis and a Wii Fit board at the back. We've got all the gubbins. All the leads, yes. I, as I said, I've gone through the painstaking task of having all these. Power leads, boxed, tested to make sure they work, what I can. All the Wii accessories in this box. Steering wheel, nunchucks. Controller. Tennis racket. Even a golf club. Amazing. Next to that, we've got all miscellaneous leads. That we've still got to match up with. And then let me pull this bag out. We're still going with all the games. Look. All these. That's all the Wii games. Half, should I say. <gasps> Super Mario Bros. That's the other half of the Wii games. Donkey Kong Country Returns. And underneath, all full of GameCube. All GameCube games. Even some iconic ones. Look at these. Resident Evil, Code Veronica. Resident Evil 4. The original. Resident Evil itself. And look. Zelda. The Wind Waker. Some iconic games there. Unbelievable. But we still haven't finished, guys. As I turn round, this bag right here is completely full of Xbox One. These are all Xbox One with the control rollers and the console right there. Docking station, spare blue shock controller. These are all Xbox One games. Definitely was an Xbox fan. But yeah, full. Look, there's a second row underneath of all Xbox One games. And we do have a pile of miscellaneous, which I'm still waiting to get through and pair up. All the CDs and the cases. But look, 
Genesis haunting. Unbelievable. Game Gear, Spider-Man with the box. It's honestly, it's never ended. It is never ended. We've even got some miscellaneous stuff. So if you, if you guys want to help me out in the comments, I'd be much appreciated because I have no clue which part area these go to. So please leave in the comments and let me know what you guys know of these and where they go. I'd be much appreciated. And look, three black Xboxes. A clear Xbox. And underneath these chairs, we've got one, two, three. These are all Xbox, you're right. Four boxes of Xbox games. I don't know where to begin. Blackstone Magic and Steel. Look, they just keep on going. Tarak, Dark Alliance. Incredible. Battlegrounds. Four boxes of Xbox games. We're still going. Yes, that's right, we're still going. A PlayStation 4 controller, some hard drives for the Xbox One. And then with the PlayStation 4, let me squeeze through all this gaming crazy heavenness. Underneath, if you can see, PlayStation 4 games. For the PlayStation 3s, next to them, PSP games, it's everywhere, I even got a box full iconic cheat code books and game guides, and then underneath that we've got all those PlayStation 1 games. Unbelievable. Look, we've got stuff like Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill. The majority of these with the manuals looking in absolute and incredible condition. Unbelievable. And we're still picking stuff up. Nintendo Switch controllers. A Nintendo Switch console. Unfortunately, I haven't come across the blue joystick yet. But, <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely phenomenal. Controllers there. Look at it. And this is my pickup haul of all gaming greatness. Unbelievable. Incredible. Fantastic. I suppose, guys, the only question left on your mind is what am I going to do with all of this? Well, to be totally honest with you, it would be physically impossible to store it and display it all. And it wouldn't be fair just to be sat in boxes. So why not let everyone else see this wonderful, great hall of gaming greatness. And it's only fair that I share it with avid collectors like yourselves. I am a uh, very active member of uh, an incredible group called the Toys Team. So definitely go check those guys out because they have a great community and they do great sales and 
awesome toys and figures. So definitely check those guys out on Facebook. And also we've got Starbug 109 and Aiden Lynch from the Retro Room. So like I said, go check those guys out because this is just a snippet of what they do have available on their groups and they are some awesome groups as well. But like I said, I don't need three Xboxes. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving, sharing the wealth with all of the collecting community. I am gonna be keeping a few bits like the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive for my personal self. But uh, a lot of it will be dished out in the gaming and retro community because I only think it's fair that my good fortune should be shared with all of you. Plus, this is just the gaming half. We've still got figures to go through yet, but that's a video for another time. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can be notified of my next video, which is gonna be of this figure haul, which is an, another epic and phenomenal find with all of this as well. Thank you ever so much for staying with me and enjoying this amazing gaming experience. As always, if you see me in the yellow, come and say hello, stay awesome, always having fun, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye. You didn't think I'd finished yet, guys, did you? The famous words of Vigo then. One more time. <laughs>